um, on Sunday night, he put himself out there by getting corn braids and dancing his socks off to Latin night. But it wasn't enough to keep him in the competition. And last night, he was asked to exit the stage. Colin Mathura Jeffrey and his dance partner, Christy Williams, join me now. Morning to you both. Good morning. Good it's morning. not a good morning, actually, is it? No, this it's is just the morning, morning after. This is like literally the morning after. Exactly. Do you it feel is. a bit devastated, Colin? Well, I think we were in shock about the elimination, a surprise elimination for us both. And uh, we worked bloody hard to get, you know, and, and do a really good show. And, and our critiques were strange, you know, being critiqued on cornrows as opposed to the dance. Well, let's talk about Stefano for a moment, because he would argue with you just said we worked bloody hard. He implied that you hadn't worked, that you just sat there and had your hair done. So, such an incredible miscommunication to him, because it was actually uh, integrated into the show. And I said, no, I said initially, let's get cornrows, let's do it after hours, and then they integrated in within hours. And I said, no, 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 it's it's going to hamper my my um, dance training, which is so important to the show. I don't want to be a train yeah, wreck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I leave that to others. And then, um, and then who, what, who will you leave that to? <laughs> others. <laughs> and then what happened was um, we actually trained earlier. I called her up and I said, let's go. I called Chrissy up and said, let's go earlier for training. Chrissy, you're the you're the expert dancer here. Um, how do you feel? What emotions are you feeling now? Because you clearly were not judged on the quality of your dancing. It's pretty obvious um, when you watch the elimination show last night. I was devastated. Um, I'm standing there with my husband, so it was either going to be me or my husband going home. Yeah, yeah. And the emotion that you see is completely real. She was in the most um, sad predicament. You know, it was a lose-lose for her. Mm. There was, you know... I'm your dance partner. I'm standing there, and then your husband's b beside yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I could, I could just feel the sadness emanating from her. You know, here's the thing, though. How, how unfair is this? Because obviously you're a professional dancer, Christy, and this was a dance competition, and your mission was to turn Colin into a dancer. But and I clearly, think I did that. well, and here's the thing. Clearly, he was not the worst dancer by a country mile. Yeah. You know, I mean, now, obviously, we know it's partly popularity. God only knows what else. But at the end of the day, you were not judged on the quality of your dancing, were you? No, I think what happens is um, the public think that because you're sitting in the middle that you're safe and they don't vote. They only vote for the ones that they think that might be going home. Oh, interesting. So I think what happens is we we were in the middle of the leaderboard. We were second last week. And then to be going home this week is just... And social media has gone crazy in support mm. of us and actually annihilating the show. But what's important is, you know, do tune into the show because they do support other charities. Don't tune out because we're eliminated. <laughs> Read between the lines, if you will. Um, it's interesting what you say, because I've never considered that. But you're right. You're sitting sort of, you're, you're lumbering around in the middle of the competition and people think, well, we don't even need to think about them, but we want to keep Pam in the competition or something like that. So they focus their votes there at that time. Yeah. Did you really think, Colin, did you think, oh, you know, we've, we've got it in the bag this week. We don't need to really start worrying for a few weeks. Well, every week is a new challenge. And all I can do is actually dance with Christy and have enormous fun doing it and really try hard. When I dance with Christy, it's a strange thing happens I'm not a dancer the whole world falls away and it's just her and I on the dance floor we really dominate in that regard and we do well and I I, w I was so proud of our dance I don't give a damn what the judges think mm. um, we did well it seemed to me right let's start let's dig some dirt here Colin and I, I found it very hard to get you to dig dirt last week um, <laughs> but now surely even although you've got a minder from media work sitting over in the corner of the studio with a taser heavily armed um, <laughs> it, it, let, let's dig dirt. Let's talk Stefano for a moment. I mean, there seemed to me on Sunday night there was definitely some aggravation between the two of you. Well, my my issue was um, in my whole career, you know, I accept criticism for for doing a good job or a bad job. But I, I just I, I work in an industry built on illusion, the fashion industry, modelling that I just choose to see none. So when I'm critiqued on something that is just I consider rubbish, I just said no, mm. simply, mm. and just squared off. No, you know. Don't hate me because I've got hair. Yeah, it's fantastic. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, did you feel a little bit uneasy about that, Christy? Um, I kind of, we kind of felt it coming. We thought, you know, like, I think what happens is every week somebody is getting put under the bus a little bit when they shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're pulling down the dancers that are doing really well. And I think, I, I think we're going to see a bit of a change happen now. Is that because it is easier as a judge, Christy, to criticise someone who's actually doing OK rather than look at people who clearly are lumbering around like wild beasts <laughs> oh and, and criticise them? Um, well... 
we all work tremendously hard on the show and I think what uh, the judges are also doing is just trying to make sure that they're supported through that, which is kind of like, it's not fair, but... It's the way it kind of so, goes. So it's a catch twenty two. They try to even yeah, the yeah, playing yeah. field, but um, and and I will back up Pam and and JJ and everyone else that um sort of messed up a little bit. That they they do work as hard as all of us, and mm. uh, but um to be and then and then so the critiques were unusual. That's what we found. I'm just so upset. No one's going to see our Bollywood number. Really? We were yeah. doing Talk me through it. How did that go? Oh, oh my gosh. So we were going to do um, a dance to Sad Diamonds and it was all going to be Bollywood integrated with Paso Doble and we were going to have dances in the background. And then on top of that, Colin made a call and I was going to be dripping in diamonds, real, real diamonds. Real diamonds, emeralds I was, and a, I was going to have a security guard on set. and I, was I made a call to a jeweller oh. and then the jeweller, um, Bronson's Jewellers, they were creating pieces for the oh dance. My God. So sadly, so, of course so that's I'm what upset. we missed out on yeah. because yeah. of the bloody public, bloody fools. And we, you them. know, we just wanted to do something as uh, just to be show ponies and to really explode on something really different. Right, Everyone just wanted just a body. You will, you will both be missed. Thank you both for joining us very much. Colin Mathura, Jeffrey and uh, Christy Williams. And that is it for the programme.